hello everyone welcome to my channel i'm sharmin today i'm gonna teach you this is gcc uh, biology question paper part two okay so five number five a student investigated the effect of different sugar solutions on potato tissue this is the method used so you can see here the method here so add 30 cubic centimeter of 0.8 mole sugar solution to a boiling tube repeat step one with equal volumes 0 0.6 0 0.4 and 0 0.2 mole sugar solutions and use water to give a concentration of 0, 0.0 mole so uh, cut five cylinders of potato of equal size using a cork borer and potato cylinder and place one in each tube and remove the potato cylinders from the solutions after 24 hours dry each potato cylinder with a paper towel and potato uh, reweigh the potato cylinder so you can see here this is table two here shows the result here you can see here the result okay so let's see the question calculate the volume of x in table two so uh, you can see here so we need to find out this one so starting 1.35 and change of mass here is a 0 0.15 so uh, if I find out if we need to find out the percentage so it will be uh, 0 0.15 divided by 1.35 times 100 okay so we can find the percent is 11.1 percent okay so let's see another question five two okay why did the student calculate the percentage change in mass as well as the change in grams so to allow results to be compared this is the reason okay so complete figure three using data from table two choose a suitable scale and level for x-axis Plot the percentage person change in mass. Draw a line of best fit. So we can, I'm just showing here. So you can see this is percentage change in mass. So here is a 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8. So we are drawing x axis. Okay. Okay. So let's see another, another question. You can see this is 5, 4. Use the graph. Uh, graph in figure 3 to estimate the concentration of the solution inside the potato cells so concentration you can see here this is um, this is you can see here is a 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 so it will be 0 0.5 okay so another one 5.5 the results in table to show the uh, percentage change in mass of the potato cylinders explain why the pot why the percentage change uh, results are positive and negative so water moves into cells water leaves cells and by osmosis so suggest two possible source of error in the method given in page 16 concentration of solution and drying of chips okay okay so number six number question figure four shows the human digestive system so you can see the human digestive system so we need to level the stomach and pancreas on figure four so uh, this is obviously this is a stomach and this is a pancreas okay so yeah let's see another question okay so many people suffer from stomach ulcer used by a species of bacteria called helicobacter pylori the stomach is lined with a protective lining of mucus helicobacter pylori are acid tolerant bacteria which can damage this mucus lining so 6.2 suggests how an infection with helicobacter pylori might result in a stomach ulcer developing so here's a two marks so uh, this is uh, bacteria not killed by stomach acid that is hydrochloric acid and so they damage mucus lining and so acid hydrochloric damages stomach tissue causes an ulcer 
So 6T, Helicobacter pylori can also cause stomach ulcer. Describe how a person infected with Helicobacter pylori could also develop liver ulcer, liver cancer. So if the cancer is malignant, this is one. And cells can spread to other organs and via the blood forming a secondary tumor. Okay, so that is enough for three marks. Let's say another question. Okay, so this is 6.4. Gluten is a form of protein found in some grains. Describe the test you would use to find out if protein is present in food. Add biotary agent to food sample and purple color shows um, protein present. Okay, so this is two marks. And this is another question. Um, this is 6.5. Celiac disease is disease of digestive system. It damages the lining of the small intestine when foods that contain gluten are eaten. When people with celiac disease eat foods that contain gluten, their immune system forms antibodies to gluten and these antibodies attack the lining of the small intestine. This causes inflammation in the intestines and damage the villi. And symptoms of celiac disease include poor growth, suggest why a person with celiac disease might have this symptom. So, uh, this is, um, okay, so answer is damaged villi reduce surface area for absorption and fewer amino acids and glucose absorbed with less glucose transfer of energy from respiration is reduced. And fewer amino acids available to build new proteins. Okay, so that is um, that's the end of uh, number six. Okay, so guys, that's all. Thank you for watching.